Good morning! It's the beginning of a new week and that means it's a new weekly challenge. So I thought we'd go through all my products and pick out what I want to focus on using this week. And for this week I thought a fun theme might be to use makeup that I've received in my BoxyCharm boxes. I've been a member since May 2018, so at this point I have a pretty good selection, and for the most part I really do enjoy what I receive from them. And I was thinking that just because I just received my June box, so this will be an opportunity to pull in some of those items as well. So I think we're going to start over here in the um, eyeliner and liquid eyeshadow area. And I know that I've received some liquid eyeshadows from BoxyCharm. So let's pull out some of those. So there's this one here from Ciate in London. That's a relatively new one. And there's also this one from Appeal. Um, and then I know I also got these glitter drops in a boxy charm box, so we're going to pull all those out. And now pulling out my colored eyeliners, I know I've received some of these in boxy charm as well. This is a relatively new one. It's a really pretty navy blue. I do actually like that, so we're going to pull that in. That might be the only one that I've kept. Okay, if you're a boxy charmer as well, you know about Jante Blue. I don't know why I still have this. I wish they wouldn't include these. I'm not going to use that one. And Star Looks. This is probably from a BoxyCharm as well. But I think we're just going to stick with the navy blue for this week. And then going back here to my eyebrow products. Um, I know I've received this in a BoxyCharm. And actually I haven't used it in a while but I do quite like it. So we're going to pull that in. Now, going over these are my color correctors and um, concealers and stuff. I don't think BoxyCharm tends to send those out, so all I'm going to do is pick out. I have two concealers that I rotate week to week, so we're going to go with this one this week because I used my other one last week. Now, primers. Most of these are actually, a lot of these are from uh, BoxyCharm. This one's from BoxyCharm. This is the one that we just received um, in the June box, so I think I'm going to use this one this week because I think um, it's a very watery consistency, and I think that will be perfect for the weather that is warming up. Uh, back here, I have lip treatments, and I don't think any of this is from BoxyCharm, so we're going to move over to all the colored lip products. Now, I know I've received a bunch of different things from BoxyCharm, charm in terms of lipsticks and stuff so I'm going to try and remember um, I know for sure we just got this one in the June box so I'm going to pull that this is another one that I know I got uh, last year in BoxyCharm and this is actually a really really nice formula so I'm going to pull that as well I don't think I've received very many purples from them oranges uh, this burnt orange is one that we got um, several months ago, I think back in the fall. This I find is a hard color for me to wear, so we're going to pull it and just see if I can make it work. Sometimes if I put a liner or a different colored gloss over top, I can kind of change the color a little bit, but we're going we're gonna to experiment with that. Um, in terms of reds, I got this I think last month. This is a really vibrant red, so we're going to see if we can use that. I don't expect to use everything that I pull, but I'd like to at least give myself the options and then just see what I can do. So I don't think there's anything in there. Um, in my burnt reds, I don't think there's anything in there from BoxyCharm. Let's see here. These are my pinks. This one here might have been from a boxy charm because I know they send Laritzi a lot. I'm going to have to look and see. This might have been from um, another subscription, but if this is, we're going to pull this one in. And then back into all my nudes here. I know this was also a boxy charm because it's, again, Laritzi. So we're going, to, this is a nice gloss too, so this will be good. A nude gloss, we're going to pull that. And then finally back in my kind of mauve section here, this is a metallic um, lippy from Ofra. I actually really like this one with the right look, so we're going to pull this one as well. So up to my powder products. Uh, BoxyCharm doesn't send out or doesn't tend to send out um, like setting powder, so I am just going to pick a new one to play with this week. I think I'm going to go with my L'Oreal True Match. Um, these are like my highlighters and kind of duo palettes. Um, I did receive this in a recent box, so we'll pull that one out, um, as well as 
maybe this one we'll play with. This is a loose one, so we'll see if I can do anything with that. Um, my blushes. This is one that we got recently. I actually really like that, so I'm going to pull that out. And then I think I'm going to go with my Note blush, which is a really nice, warm tone blush in case I do any warmer down to my eyeshadow palettes. A lot of the palettes that I have are because of BoxyCharm, so I'm going to pull out just a few. For sure, I'm going to pull out this one. This is the one that we just received in June. I also want to play with um, my Ace palette. Uh, I use this a ton in the fall because it has some really pretty warm tones, but it also has some really nice like corals and peaches that I didn't play with in the fall that I think would be really nice for this time of year. So we're going to pull that one out. And then the other one I think we are going to pull out is the Pure Festival. I think this was from last month or maybe two months ago and I did a whole week with this palette and I really really liked it. Now you'll notice that it looks a little bit different. I did change out two of the colors because I just was not going to use the glitter shades. So I added two of my singles. Um, actually this, this is a single here that I added in, and then this is one um, that I depotted from a um, BH Baked Shadow Palette, and I just repressed into this pan. I just felt like these colors kind of worked with the other ones better for what I like to do with my eyeshadow, so we're going to pull this one out. So over to this section, I don't have, I don't think I have any mascaras from BoxyCharm. Any ones that I've received, I have used, so I'm not going to pull anything out from there. Um, most of the brushes that I use on a daily basis actually are from BoxyCharm. And then for foundations and stuff, they don't tend to send foundations out, so I won't be pulling any, well, I'll be using what I want to use, but none of them are BoxyCharm. But I think I will be using this Cover FX face palette. Um, this was from a couple of months ago and I really enjoy this as too so we'll be using that this week. So here is all the BoxyCharm makeup that I am going to be focusing on using this week and so yeah from here on in I'm going to show you some of the looks that I did every day um, and then maybe I'll do a little wrap up at the end and see how I feel about if any of the thoughts on these products have changed since the last time I used them. So day one of my BoxyCharm makeup challenge uh, for the week has been completed and I'm really happy with how this look turned out. Um, I decided to go with, uh, for my palette, to use the Ace Beauté palette, the Grandiose palette, and I think we got this last November and I can honestly say every time I use this palette I am just so happy with how the look turns out. I think the colors that were put together, they just go so well together and they're so well balanced that you can really create a very pretty look. So for this look, what I ended up using was patchouli here just to lay down a base. I did a bit of clove above my crease and then for the lid I went in with uh, myrtle on the outer edge there and jasmine on the inner edge and then I used poppy um, to define the outer corner and just to add a little depth um, above the crease. So I used quite a few shades and like I said every time I use this palette I'm just really really happy with this look. Um, so that's what I did for my eyes and then I also used the note blush just to add a little bit of warmth to my cheeks. I don't tend to use a ton of blush, I just add a little bit, but I thought this was a really good tone to go with the eye look. And then for the lips, I ended up using this one here. Um, I don't remember which box we received this in. It was very, very, very early. It might have even been my first boxy charm back in May of 2018. Uh, but I have used this a few times, and it is a really, really nice formula. They they label it as a gloss, but it is not sticky at all. I find it to be more like. A liquefied lipstick like not a liquid lipstick that dries down but more like it looks like I'm wearing a glossy lipstick more than a gloss um, it's got a lot of color to it I, I put it on very lightly but you could easily build this up and I find that it wears really well so I'm gonna watch to see how it's been a while since I've worn it so I'm gonna see over the day how it wears I expect it to transfer on my coffee cup and stuff like that and I expect it to come off after lunch but I have a feeling that it's just gonna be very easy to pop this back on afterwards. Uh, so that's the BoxyCharm makeup I used today. I look forward to picking out some new stuff tomorrow and I will see you then.
Hello and welcome to day two of my weekly makeup challenge BoxyCharm edition. Before I tell you how I got today's look, I just wanted to make two changes to um, the, some of the products that I showed you in the info portion of this video. There were two lip products that I had mentioned were from Lavritzi and I wasn't sure if they were from one of my past BoxyCharm boxes. So I looked through my past boxes and they were not included, so I believe those might have been from an Ipsy. So instead, I've chosen two other products that I know were from a BoxyCharm. So the first one is this Tarte Lip Gloss. It's in a really pretty um, kind of like gold color with some multicolored glitter to it. And then the second one is this Bullet Lipstick from Christopher Buckle. And I haven't actually used this one yet, so this will be a good opportunity. Hopefully I will be able to use it this week. But it is a really pretty kind of rose shade. So I should be able to make this work with some of the eyeshadow palettes that I have pulled for this week. So for today's look, I used the Festival palette from Pure that we got. I believe this was from our May box. Um, and like I said before, when I got this palette um, back in May, I used it for a whole week and, and I actually got a lot of really pretty looks from it. But I learned that I do not like pressed glitters. And this palette came with um, these two shades here originally were pressed glitters. So I have since removed those pressed glitters and have replaced them with some single shadows that I had in my collection that I thought would work better with the color story overall and that I would use more in the types of looks that I like to do. But for today's look, I stuck with colors that were already in the palette so that if you have this palette, you will have the same shades. Um, I went in first with this lighter shade here for my transition area and then I deepened my outer, um, the outer corner with this darker shade here. Um, I went in on my lid with this really pretty purple. I love this purple shade. I've used this a lot when I use this palette. I used that on my entire lid today. And then over the whole area, over my lid and transition and upper, upper crease area and everything, I went in with this shade very lightly just to give it a bit of sheen and a little bit of lightness. On my inner corner, I went in with this pink, just a tiny little bit. I wanted to bring that pink in a little bit. And then I believe for my lower lash line, I went in just a little bit with the transition color. Now on top of the pink in my inner corner, I also used the face palette that we got from Cover Effects. And I went in with this brightening shade. I love this shade for the inner corner. Anytime I'm doing an eye look and um, there might not be a color in the palette I'm using that's bright enough, or light enough to kind of bring some brightness to that inner corner, I will go into this palette and use this shade right here. So that's what I did because I did want the pink there, but I wanted it to be just a little bit brighter, and so I went over top of the pink with that color. For my blush today, I used the Alamar palette that we got, um, I believe, last month, and I went in with this middle shade here. I don't tend to use a lot of brush, I just use a tiny little bit to bring a little color to my face, um, but I really, really like the tone of this middle shade. These two other shades that came in the palette I find are a little bit too orange for me, but I have a plan, so stay tuned for um, a future video where I try and customize this palette to work for me a little better but for today I went in with this middle shade and I really really like that. Um, otherwise for my lips I used the lip pencil that we got in our June box. It's just a really nice light neutral pink um, and this is from uh, Dirty Little Secret. It's just a regular lip pencil, nothing special but I wanted to bring a little bit more pink to my lips because I was going to be going in with the lip gloss that we got in June from Dominique Cosmetics and this is kind of like a peachy coral. So yeah, I wanted just a nice neutral lip since my eyes were a little bit brighter today and I will be going out later. Avery has a little ninjas class and I didn't want to be the crazy mom with the crazy makeup so we just went with a very neutral lip. The only other thing that I added in was with my eyes. I did go in with this Bodyography eye pencil just very lightly over my above my lash line just to add a little bit of definition. Um, and yeah, it worked fine. I actually really like this color. So I believe that is everything that I used today. I look forward to experimenting with some new products tomorrow, and I will see you then. Hello, and welcome to day three of my weekly makeup challenge, Bakshi Charm Edition. 
Um, today's look I actually had a lot of fun with. I'll admit that it was a little challenging because I decided not to use an eyeshadow palette. So for the majority of the look that I created today, I actually use the Cover FX face palette. And I did this once before, very soon after I received this, just to see if it was something I'd be able to do because I don't tend to use a ton of highlighter, I don't do a lot of like contouring, and I don't use a lot of blush, and it worked out well. So I thought I'd try it again for today because I knew I wanted to wear a metallic lip, so um, I didn't want to go crazy with the eyes. So this is what the inside is here. And yeah, I primarily used this for my entire eye look. Um, I used the contour shade here as a transition along with a little bit of the blush just to bring in a bit of a rosiness to it. And then I used the two highlighters here as my lid shade. So this more pink one I used towards the outside of my lid and then this lighter one I used towards the inside. And then um, for my inner corner I used the brightening shade. I did end up using using a little bit of the contour as a contour, um, just a tiny little bit, but yeah, so for today I primarily used this palette. Now I did use another palette as well. I used my Alamar blush palette, um, and I actually used this center blush. This is my favorite shade in this palette. I used this in my transition as well. The pink in the face palette was just a little more bubblegum pink, and I wanted to bring more a deeper pink in, so I did bring this into my transition, and then I used a tiny little bit as blush as well. Uh, the other products that I used today, um, I used these highlights. So we received this highlight from Pretty Vulgar and I've only used this once or twice because I don't I prefer a more subtle highlight I don't know if you can see it there you can see a little bit there um, but I thought this was really pretty because it did kind of have a pink it has a pink shift to it so I thought it might be nice with this look I only used a tiny little bit and then I actually used um, this face powder from Pretty Vulgar as well this is a loose setting powder and when we got this, I did like it, but first, I don't use a lot of face powder, and second, um, I prefer pressed powder over loose powder. So I thought since this was the BoxyCharm Week Challenge, I thought I would try this, and I just took a little tiny bit, and um, I used that because the, the, the complexion products I used today ended up being um, a little bit dewy looking at the end and so I thought I'd try this and it worked out really nicely. And then finally for my lips I used the Ofra in Monaco. I remember when this, I think when this came out in the box, um, most people, I think this was an item that everybody got and I remember a lot of people when they were doing their unboxing saying, oh it's metallic lipstick, oh I'm not going to use this, oh I'm just going to donate this or give it away or whatever. I think this is really really pretty. It is metallic but it's not like beaming metal. I think it's a really pretty shade. It's like this rosy, purpley. It looks a little bit more purple in uh, the tube, but it's this really pretty kind of rosy sheen. I really like it. I just, when I wear it, I try and do an eye look that's not going to compete with it, uh, which is why I went with the face palette today. But the Ofra formula is really nice. I don't feel like I have anything on my lips right now. Um, I do believe it wears well. I've only worn this a few other times. So we'll have to see. I'm going to have to watch and see how it wears today. I will update you on that. But I just think this is a really pretty color. So overall, I'm really, really happy with today's look. Um, it's a little bit more on the subtle side, but I think there's some very kind of pretty touches to it. Um, and yeah, so that's it for today, and then I will see you tomorrow. I think we just have two more days for this challenge, so I will see you then. Hello and welcome to day four of my weekly makeup challenge, Boxy Charm Edition. Uh, so for today's look, I used so much Boxy Charm stuff, and I really, really like how this look turned out. I combined a lot of things that I haven't um, combined before. So I'm going to start off with the eyes. So the eyeshadow palette that I used is this one here. We just received this one in June. This is the first time that I got to play with it. This is the Be You Naturally palette and the main reason I wanted to play with this because it's not my typical um, palette I don't usually go for all nude shade palettes is that I've kind of been considering um, doing a customization on this one and I wanted to bring in some other shades to see what might work with the shades that are already in here 
So the ones that I used for today, um, I use this kind of mid-tone color here for my crease and transition. I use this darker one to kind of deepen up the outer corner. And then for my lid shades, I believe I used this one here um, for the, main, the inner part of the lid. And I think I used this a little bit on the outer uh, portion of the lid. Now I did use this one here in the transition as well. I thought when I originally looked at this palette that um, this shimmer here is a little bit more of a pink base and I thought oh these two would be really nice together. So I tried using this one today in my kind of upper crease transition and it just does not show up on my skin tone at all. So if I do a customization on this palette, this is definitely a shade that I'm going to remove because I just have no use for it. It, it doesn't do anything for me. So that was good to know because um, originally I thought that this would be a nice one to have because it offered a little variety in this palette. Uh, so I think that's all the shades that I used in this palette. And then to bring in a little bit of color, I pulled in um, some colors that I've actually depotted from a previous Boxy Charm back last year, I think it was July, we got the Alamar palette, and everybody loves this palette, but they love it for the shimmers. Every time I see someone talk about this palette in their collection or they're doing a declutter and they keep this, it's always for the shimmers. And I feel the same way. The shimmers are beautiful. Um, but I've depotted them because I didn't use the mattes that were in the palette. So these two here for me are the standout shimmers from that palette. And I've put them into their own little pans. Um, and I pulled them in today because I wanted to see if they worked well with the shades that are in this Tarte palette because if they do, if I like how they work together, these are the two shades that I am considering um, adding to that palette to kind of customize it. So I used this is like um, it's this is such a unique shade. It's like this very very pale goldish green. I love using this in my inner corner um, and that's what I did today. So the, sh the sparkle that you can kind of see in the corners there, that is from this one here. And then this is my other favorite shimmer from that palette and it's this beautiful kind of light um, emeraldy teal green. And this one I used on, um, you can see I kind of lined my upper lids with that and then I also brought it down um, on my lower lash line to bring in a little bit of color. I do like how these two colors played with the colors from the Tarte palette, so I might, I think if I was going to do a customization, I would be adding these. Um, I also tried to play with this one. This is another shimmer that was in that Alomar palette, and I found, I started off lining my eyes with this one, and I, I didn't like how this one looked with the tones from the Tarte palette, so I ended up going over it with more of the green shade. So again, that is good to know because I was considering putting this into that palette and I don't think I would at this point. I don't really like how it played with the other colors. So I did use this today, but um, I ended up kind of going over it with the green because I liked how the green looked a little better. Um, so I think that is all that I used on the eyes from my BoxyCharm makeup. Uh, the next things I did, so I did my face makeup and I don't have any like foundation or anything from BoxyCharm. Um, I did set my face again today with um, the Pretty Vulgar Loose Powder. I used this yesterday and I was really happy with the results. So I used that again today and I really enjoyed it. And then I added the blush from Note. I used this earlier this week and I really like this when the look that I'm doing has more warm tones versus cool tones, so I added a little bit of this blush. And then I did do a tiny, tiny little bit of highlight. As mentioned before, I'm not big on powder highlights, um, but I brought in the Pretty Vulgar Highlight again. I don't know if you can see, Just I just do like a little tiny bit on the top of my kind of cheekbone area. And then for the lips, um, I brought in, I did a base of this uh, Christopher Buckle kind of rose shade. I just very lightly kind of like blotted this on. I didn't like do a full opaque um, swipe with it. I just kind of dabbed it on. So that's the color there. So I just kind of dabbed it on just to get a very light wash of color. And then I went over it with um, the Tarte uh, gloss. And this is actually a really nice gloss. It's not too sticky. Um, it's not too, I, I like, there's there's glitter in it. I don't feel the glitter. It smells really good. It smell, smells very, like, sweet and like a bakery type um, 
the cupcake type smell so that was really nice um, but yeah I think it adds a really nice finish to that kind of rosy lipstick so overall I'm really really pleased with the look that came out today um, I have one more day tomorrow and I already have an idea of what I want to play with I really want to do a red lip so um, I guess I will see you then and we'll play with some more a boxy charm makeup Good morning and welcome to day five of my Weekly Makeup Challenge Boxy Charm Edition. I had so much fun with the makeup today. I know it's a very bold look, but um, I really wanted to try and use the red uh, lipstick that I had from Dose of Colors, and so I went with a pretty neutral eye. I actually used two of my palettes today. The main palette that I started with was my Pure Festival palette. For my crease and transition area, I went in with this color here, and then I just deepened up the outer corner with this one here. And then on most of my lid, I put this lighter shade here. Um, and then with this darker one, I just went in on the outer corner a little bit just to deepen up that outer corner and kind of blend in with this shade here. But those are the four shades that I used for my lid, just keeping it very nice, very kind of neutral with just a little bit of a shimmer. Um, the other palette that I used uh, was for basically the rest of my face and it was the Cover Effects palette. I've been getting a lot of use out of this this week. Um, I used the brightener shade as I usually like to do for my inner corner, but then I actually did use the contour shade for a tiny little bit of contouring and then also to go under my lower lash line. Uh, generally, I prefer a cooler toned neutral for my lower lash line versus a warmer tone. So I didn't want to go in with that more um, kind of orangey shade from the Pure Palette. So I used this for my lower lash line. Um, I used this for my inner corner. I did a little bit of highlighting with this shade here. And um, I think that's what I used from this palette. The last two products that I used today from my BoxyCharm collection was for my setting powder. I have started using this this week after kind of neglecting it since I got it and I have found that if I use it very, very lightly, um, I really like how it just kind of tones down the dewiness from my foundation. So um, I used a little bit of this today. And then finally, the main the main statement um, was this lipstick. So I think we got this maybe not June, maybe May we received this. And um, I remember when I was seeing people do their unboxings, there's a lot of different shades that went out. I think most of the ones that I had seen, I would have been okay with receiving. There were some other bright pinks and stuff, but there were some neutrals. And I was kind of hoping for a neutral just because I think I'd get more wear out of it. Um, but I did. I got this bright, bright red. Uh, so yeah, I, I had been planning all week that this is what I'd be wearing this week, and so this this is the finished look. It's very bold. It, it, I would probably catch a lot of attention if I if I went uh, grocery shopping today, but that's the point of makeup is to have some fun with it. Um, yeah, so this is the final day for the challenge. And I think I'm just going to wrap up with um, if I have some thoughts about some of the products that I've used since I have used some of my BoxyCharm products more this week than um, I have in the last couple of months. So finally, I thought I would do just a little product wrap up. So um, showing you the products that I used this week that I knew I already loved, some products that I got more use out of because of the challenge, products that surprised me, and then the products that I didn't end up using. So we're going to start with the products that I knew I loved going into this, and I was just happy to get more use out of that. Um, for the palettes, it would definitely be these three palettes here. This blush palette, as I've mentioned before, it's mainly that middle shade that I love, but I love that middle shade. So I was happy to use that. And then the two eyeshadow palettes here, the Pure Festival palette and the Ace Beauté Grandiose palette. Um, I have used these before and every time I use them, I just enjoy them so much. Uh, for the lip products, I had the Ofra Cosmetics um, Monaco shade, so this is the metallic kind of rosy, uh, pinky purple. I just really like this color. I know a lot of people kind of write it off because it's metallic, but I just think with the right makeup 
going with it. It's just a really, really pretty shade. And then this one. I have not used this in months and months and months. Brought this back out for the challenge and it just reminded me how much I really, really love this formula. It goes on so nice. It's so comfortable. It lasts really, really well. I think the day I wore this, even after I'd eaten my lunch, there was still some just, it was fading towards the middle, but there was still some towards the outside and it was just very easy to touch up and it's just such a pretty color. So this just reminded me how much I like this. So the products that I use this week that I do use now and then, but I was just able to get more use out of it. Definitely the Cover FX Face Palette. Um, I use this, I do use this fairly frequently for that brightening shade, but I was able to use some of the uh, face products in here a little bit more this week. Also, the Pretty Vulgar Highlight. I dabbled in this before, but I, I used it several times this week and I just got a little more use than I normally do. In the same way, I got several uses out of this Note Blush and I really haven't touched this since the fall since it is a warmer shade. And then finally, the Chella um, Eyebrow Kind of Pomade. Uh, I used this quite a bit when I first got it, uh, but I haven't really touched it since because I found an eyebrow pencil that I really like. I've used this a few times this week. It is a little bit dark, so it gives me a bolder brow, but I did get a little bit more use out of it this week. Next are the products that surprised me, and the first one is this Pretty Vulgar Setting Powder. When I received this, I completely wrote it off because it is a loose powder and I just don't tend to reach for loose powders. I've used it a few times this week and if I use it very lightly with a big fluffy brush, I actually really do like the finish of it so I can see myself reaching for it more. Um, the other two things that really surprised me were these lip products. So the first one is this kind of rosy lip bullet from Christopher Buckle. Uh, I think I got this about three months ago and I have not touched it. Uh, I was really impressed with the formula of this. The color is very pigmented. I just dabbed it on my lip the other day and I got a really, really pretty rose shade. Um, and then I went over it with this other one that surprised me, is the Tarte Lip Gloss. And it lasted really well. As I was drinking my coffee, it was coming off on the cup, which I expected. Um, but I kind of ignored it for the most part of the day until after lunch and I went to reapply it thinking it was going to be completely gone and there was still some on my lips so it faded really really nicely it was very easy to touch up the color was very pretty it was a very comfortable formula and then this gloss I used this throughout the day too it was just it felt really good on the lips um, you can see with the light there there's a lot of shimmer in there but the shimmer did not get everywhere um, it was a very subtle pretty shimmer I think this is going to layer really well over other colors so I look forward to using this more um, over the summer months it does not come off this gold when it's on your lips. It's very, very subtle, so I will definitely be using this more. Next are the products that are newer to me and that I just have not had a chance to use up until now, and um, I figured out if I like them or not. The first one is this No Pore Blum Water Essence Primer from Touch and Soul. I just received this in June. This is the primer that I used all week. I really like the consistency of this. It is very much like an essence. Uh, it, it absorbs into the skin really nicely. It um, leaves kind of a tacky feel, but not in a bad way, just in a way that you know your makeup is going to go, your foundation is going to go really nicely over top and every day this week um, I've used different foundations and every day I just felt like I had a really good skin day like my skin just throughout the day just looked really nice so I've been pleased with this so far uh, and the other two are also items that I received in my June box so I just haven't had a chance uh, previously to use them this Tarte palette I do like. Uh, the colors are very pretty. The shimmers are very pretty. I think there's only kind of two duds in the sh um, palette. This one here is just really, really chunky. I like. I will definitely be removing this. I mentioned earlier that I will probably be using this palette uh, to do a customization and take out some of the shades in there that I don't need and adding in some shades that I've depotted from other palettes just to kind of create um, my own little mix and I think it will work really well for that. The two mattes that are in here that I used uh, are really really nice neutral ones that don't pull too warm or too cold so I think they will go really well with other shades that um, I eventually choose to put in there so I was happy with this. And then finally 
the um, Dominique Cosmetics Lip Gloss. This was the first week I've been able to use this, and I like it. Um, it's not too sticky. It's a really pretty kind of light coral shade. Uh, would I go out and buy this at Sephora? Probably not, because it's just, to me, it's a lip gloss. There was nothing spectacular about it, but I enjoyed using it, and I will continue to enjoy using it. And finally, I have the products that I just have not used at all this week. Um, the first two are the liquid eyeshadows that I pulled. One, uh, this brighter one here is from Ciate London, and this one here is from Appeal. Uh, I just find that I don't tend to use liquid eyeshadows very often. I thought maybe I would use this one because it is very kind of summery and bright and the warmer weather is finally here uh, but I just don't tend to reach for them and then this one here I do I do think I would use this more in the fall when I do more warmer fall toned looks uh, but I just didn't it didn't go with anything that I wanted to do this week so I didn't touch those and in the same way I did not touch the cover effects glitter drops I have used these in the past and I have enjoyed using them it's particularly with the Ace Beauté uh, palette I like using this in my inner corner uh, but again I feel this goes better with some of the fall looks that I tend to do so it's not that I will never use this but I just don't feel like it really suits the season right now so I will just put this back in my collection and I might reach for it over the few months but if not definitely when the fall comes this loose highlighter from Artist Couture I did not touch in the same way that I don't tend to reach for loose powders, I don't reach for loose highlighters. I've actually considered trying to press this into a pan and just seeing if that works because if it works, great, I might use it more, but if not, I don't think I'm going to reach for it in this form, uh, so we'll see. Maybe I will do that in the future. And finally, the lip product that I did not use is the Oprah Liquid Lip in Miami Fear. Um, this is just a really hard color for me to wear. It's a very warm burnt orange. Again, it's not just the color. But it, again, it's the season. I feel like this is more of a, um, a fall tone color. If I layer it over certain lip liners or layer certain glosses over top, it changes the tone a little bit more. So I'm just going to put this back and hopefully in the fall I reach for it more. I don't see myself using it over the summer. So that's it for this weekly makeup challenge. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed sharing uh, the looks that I created. If there's any that you would like to see in more detail, just let me know. Also, if there's any ideas you have for a weekly makeup challenge, let me know that as well. And I hope you have a fabulous day, and I will see you in the next one.